Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is a program today I learned, WebGL series, episode 46. Today we're going to be looking at GL frag chord, which is a built-in function within the fragment GLSL shaders. And we're going to kind of show what it represents and how you can end up using it in future episodes. Um, short version is, it's the fragment position within the frame buffer using the Windows coordinates. And that's kind of a mouthful, so we'll take a look at it in a moment. In terms of our code here, we're just using the same animated one as before. Nothing is really, really happening that's interesting. The main thing that we should take note of is we're going to go ahead and pass to the uh, shaders this uniform of U height and U width, which is representative of the canvas height and canvas width object. Uh, outside of that, we're just kind of spinning here. And at any of these positions, you can see the color uh, in the RGB alpha range that is being represented here. And we'll so see what, how that is displayed in just a moment. So here we go in the fragment shader. We have the two uniforms coming in, the U height and the U width. And what we're going to do is the GL frag chord represents uh, X, Y, Z, W um, in the Windows coordinates. So it's basically uh, from I believe uh, after we do this conversion by dividing it by the u height and u width, this will bring it to the range of zero to one. So without it, it will be you know between zero and four hundred eighty or however many pixels wide it would be. So we're going to divide by the height to determine the y value, and we're going to divide by the width to determine the x value. Depth's always the same, and so we're just going to set it to z, but it doesn't really matter here. Um, so in terms of our RGB, we're just going to set hard coded to, to 0. And then alpha, we're going to set to 1. So we're really just looking at RNG right now, but it doesn't really matter because what we're trying to see is what this value is determined to be. So as this gets more to the right, it's going to be closer to 1. And more to the left will be closer to 0. And then as this is closer to the bottom, it's going to be closer to 0. And it's going to the top, it's going to be closer to 1. And so you can see that that's true because as we get closer to the edge here, we're closer to 255, which is the same thing as 1. Uh, up here we'll have both values as high as possible. Up here we'll have this one, uh, the second value, as high as possible. And as we let this go scroll around, you'll see this is near 0 for everything. So that's going to be converting these uh, window space into color space. But uh, so you can play around with the GL frag chord and do different interesting mathematics and try to figure out uh, where people's pointers are and do uh, interesting things with that. We may end up doing something with that in a later episode, but I just wanted to introduce that to you now, and uh, that's it for this episode. Um, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe, uh, like this video, share it on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.